Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome back to more, or, um, hmm. Welcome back to more, uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Previously, we started the game. Um, in this episode, we're going to get a sword, get a shield, and then go to that forest area. Well, we have to go in here and talk to Orca, but first, I want to break these um, bases. There we go, I broke all of them. Except for these over here, but I don't care about these. We have to talk to Orca. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What you say, Link? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yep. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Wait, we just push B. Like this. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say very good. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold L to R target me and then press B keep swinging very good next is the thrust L target then tilt up analog stick and then press B come at me thrust with your sword okay oops Very good, keep thrusting. Next is a spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength, then release it. Or rotate the analog stick once and press B. Oops. Oops, I'm not very good at it. Uh, just, oops. <sighs> I'm not very good at getting the um, analog stick to go around in a circle on command. Next is harder. This is a parry attack. L target until you see A with pointies around it. Then quickly pr press A to perform a defensive strike. Like this. Very good. And again, L target and watch closely with for A with spike spikes around it. Very good. Now finally the jump attack. Draw your sword, L target, and press A. Come at me once more. Here we go. That was a fine display. And yet I sense a certain and yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword that you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt that you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give you I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword. Wield it with B. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link.
Okay, there we go. Now we've got a sword and we can break stuff. Yay. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> There's very few characters that you can actually interact with directly by, like, using a weapon on them. It's pretty rare to do that. So let's actually go up here to get some, get 10 rupees. While I'm just kind of pushing in the B button and, like, releasing it shortly after. Now in here there's two rupees. One in each um, thing. There's nothing in that. Sometimes in water you'll actually have rupees. Can I get the shield yet I wonder? Oh wait actually let's break these pots right here and get some rupees. I wonder if I can get the shield yet. Link, what, what is that thing that you have on your back? Why are you carrying a dangerous thing like that around? Why, what are you doing with a, such a dangerous thing? That's no toy, what happened? Okay. Can I get a shield yet, I wonder? Oh, uh, okay. I've actually never talked to Link's grandma um, before completing the forest area. Now we should probably head toward that forest area. And why do these trees grow back? I got rid of you before and you came back. Ugh. Now I need to get rid of you again. All these trees. There we go. Now we need to head toward this way. Actually, wait, this is the wrong way. But what's in here? Anybody in here? Hmm. I hope they won't mind this. Please don't do that in real life though. Nobody's in there, I guess. Okay, let's keep going. Whoops, I didn't mean to jump up there. Actually, let's just swim across. Now, if you'll notice, the blue rupee up on that one and then the yellow one up there on those rocks, they didn't grow back, or they didn't show back up. They didn't respawn, but that's what happens. Now I want to. What I want to do here is um, just cut all this grass. I don't really know if anything happens in particular, but it's just to basically show that you can you can cut grass. And then this character right here will tell you about that that you can uh, cut grass. And they'll tell you to do it um, so that you can get items for it. Now what we actually have to do, other than cutting this grass right here, we don't really have to cut grass, but what we want to do is we want to go up here.
And then we can cut this grass if we want. We don't have to, but I want to. Gotta run up here. And there's not really anything up here. And this sign, this sign right here says, Free Fountain Sight Ahead. Increase your fortune. But we just have to run across this uh, thing right there. And then kind of, you can cut this grass if you want. You don't have to. Now there's a bunch of grass in here. I'm just going to kind of walk over here. So, we got to go on. I think I have to be over here. We can actually crawl through here and get 20 red rupees, but I would waste it and I don't really care. And over here, I think this enemy is called a Bokoblin. Whoops. Well, I've never seen that happen, have you? Where the, um, where an enemy makes a tree fall down? Hm, never seen that happen. This thing right here. This is called a fairy fountain. This spot marks the remnants of an old fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so that the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune. It came to be known as the f fountain of the f fountain of the fortune goddess. I have to read my read off the recording because the red on the screen is too difficult to read. It's like too bright. <sighs> off the preview, but it says lift there with the A, but we can't lift it yet. So we have to run up this log. Oh no! There's two Bokoblins now. It's so difficult to defeat them. Thanks, villain of this game, who I won't name yet, that everybody probably knows who it is already because I don't want to spoil it. If you're actually um, bad at defeating enemies, then I'm sorry, but um, then I'm sorry for uh, for saying that, but they are the easiest enemies in general. Actually, no, they're not. Whoa, what's with that get at? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Oh. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So, that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's -a go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But, but, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on.
That was a really strange noise just now. I thought my Nintendo Wii made a noise. Maybe it did, and I just didn't notice it. Huh. Oh no! A bird! And I wasn't making any commentary for a few seconds because my Nintendo Wii made a weird noise, I thought. Brother! Maybe it was just trying to load and I hadn't heard that noise in a while. Ugh, silly kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing more that you can do. Huh. Oh no. I don't know what. What are we gonna do? Uh, no. What? You wanna come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, the terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know you, how you must feel with your sister be, having been kim, kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And, and how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on somebody else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time, time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter, whenever, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in that forest in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I might as well tell you that the bird who, that kidnapped, kidnapped both you and Link's sister have made its, has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The for, the Forsaken Fortress, I'm not really sure who's saying that, probably Tetra, so I can't say a voice, isn't that the place where... So, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be reasonable, unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, that's just silly. I mean, come on, uh, even a simple little island like this has, has to have something that you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you to be getting all weepy eyed and homesick on me. Okay. Ah, right, you moved. Link, your sister Errol, she's... Don't tell me. You're not going to board that ship and try to save her, are you? 
Are you gonna say something about it? Link, are you going somewhere? No? Let's see what this NPC says. Link, I thought I heard Errol's voice call out from far away. Is it, is it really true? Uh, uh maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Grab a shield, maybe. Hi, Grandma. What is it, Link? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the seagulls? Uh, well... What's the matter? Is there something wrong? Is it something you can't even tell your grandma? Well, um... Kinda... Where's the shield? What happened to the shield? Where'd it go? Uh, I just noticed that there's pictures up here. With... Let me see. Of Link's grandma. Link... His grandma and his sister. And I need to... Um... Actually, I was going to say I need to get closer to the TV, but I have an audio or video recording right here that I can look at. And Arrow looking out over the edge of her lookout tower. Okay. Nope, nothing else here. Oh, now we get to talk to the talk to Link's grandma. Link. Is this what you're looking for? Why yes, of course. I've been looking for the shield. I need one. Take it with you. You got the hero's shield. This is the legendary shield said to be ha said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take us such a sweet young child? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe the villain of the game would? Uh, probably. Oh, Errol. Yeah, so we gotta leave. But I'll do that in the next episode. Because... I'm kind of running out of time here, and that's the perfect time to have a cliffhanger. Um, next time, we're going to board the pirate ship and jump down and board the pirate ship. Yay! Goodbye for now.